kids and welcome back today i've got a book box club box to share with you the theme was into the wild it's not a traditional unboxing because i tried to film this video already once uh, three times and every time i keep messing up the video so we'll see how it goes as i say the theme is into the wild it's got this gorgeous green trees and bears theme throughout and you can see you'll see a lot of the items with those themes as you go through the first thing i've got is this gorgeous gray and green buff for those of you that don't know a buff is a scarf tube you can wear it as a hat For example, let me show you. It's a hat. It's a scarf. It goes over my nose. I've got it inside out. Over my nose. It's a balaclava. It's very versatile, is what I'm saying. And it's grey and green, so it's already been claimed by Life Slither and Sun. Which is fine because I really hate my neck getting too hot. And that was made by Bookbox Club. It's an original. The next thing I've got is this candle. In some this veritas, I like that as a as a theme. It's by uh, Bookworm Candles and Crafts, and it tells you around the up top that it's for Book Box Club. It's from the Into the Wild box, and here it's by. It's got a gorgeous green ribbon around the outside, and inside it is all sparkly, and it smells like soap. I nearly started burning this already, so I just. Um, that I didn't. The next thing I've got for you is a massage bar. I really love this. It's adventurous and it smells of chamomile and it's all gorgeously honeycombed inside. It's by Naked Sister and it says a remedy for the adventurous. And it's just, I can just like. You know how you get a chamomile lawn and you step onto it and your feet just relax into it? Just even just smelling this massage bar and my feet are going, Ugh. So I will really, really look forward to using that. I'm the masseur of my uh, little group, but I'm hoping I can persuade one of my partners into <laughs> massaging me back. The next thing I've got is a pin, which is green and says bookish ex. Flora. It's quite simple, it's quite green. I don't tend to wear a lot of green as you've probably noticed, but I expect I'll wear this a little bit. Now I've got a sketchbook, it's plain white paper. It's got a wraparound cover, it's by Georgine Makes. And isn't that gorgeous? It's got a ship, a pirate ship, and some catapults and leaves and flowers and pine leaves and magic trails it is lost boys themed all boys grow up except one oh look there's his pan pipes i will enjoy using that it's quite um small easy to slip into a handbag for use and uh, i always use sketchbooks especially like sketchbooks rather than notebooks the next thing I've got I'm really excited about because I've never actually seen this in a book box before and I've not been having them for very long but I've been watching other people's and it is a cool bag by Sass and Bell. It's got that gorgeous tents and bears and trees going on. It's got things like the mama bear having a cup of tea and the baby bear making marshmallows, cooking marshmallows over the campfire. It's exactly the right size for my lunch box. I have a square Lego lunch box, but it's not insulated at all, so I'll feel 
safe for taking things like an egg salad <laughs> for my lunch if it's got an insulation. I don't do that at the moment. So yeah, I think that's really practical. I love the colour, it's kind of pale blue. And I love the theme. I will very much enjoy using that. And I'm really excited to have it in the box. The next thing I've got is also another very practical item, post-it notes. They're from Dear Evan Hansen. I think there's a film coming out. I haven't read it, it's, but it says, today's going to be an amazing day and here's why. And it's got this gorgeous tree and grass theme and it's all blue, which it could so easily have been green like the rest of the box, but it's blue and I really like that. Yep, that's everything. So after this, I've just got two books. There is because it's partly because it's the birthday box. That's their excuse, like two books because it's our birthday. But also I've noticed every time the main book isn't fantasy, they give you an arc of fantasy just to keep your interest. So this is my arc of a fantasy and it is gorgeous. Look, it's called Damsel. It's got this heart. It's got the bleeding heart flowers. It's very, very shiny. I just love this plant, bleeding heart, which we had in my childhood garden, the garden of my childhood home. And it's just beautiful. And this is a book about a la uh, lady who's been trapped by a dragon and the prince who comes to free her when she wakes up she doesn't remember anything about what happened before and she just has to trust the prince but the further you go into the book the more murk it becomes and the more she feels like there are secrets that she needs to get to the bottom of so it's a modern fairy tale hence the name and the last thing is the book of the month, which obviously it's unwrapped. The Other Side of Lost by Jessie Kirby. I've not read any of Kirby's work before. It's orange on the inside. Oh, it's got a little mountain on the spine. I didn't undress it before, didn't see that. It's about a girl who had a cousin she was very close with and they were going to go hiking, but as the girl got more and more involved with a with a sort of imaginary life which she puts on social media she lost contact with her cousin her cousin dies and sends and sends her her hiking stuff so the protagonist whose name i forget mari the protagonist mari uh posts on social media that everything that they previously thought they knew about her was a lie and goes hiking to find herself. So it's a sort of a lost your way, go and find yourself by hiking book. But I, although I know it's a trope, I know it's a thing, I haven't read a lot of those books. So I'm really excited about this book. And hopefully, and hopefully that will have worked. And I'll post this today. And I will see you soon. Bye.